Well, this is um, part two of my redo of how to make your computer faster. Now, another way to make your computer faster is to uninstall all those unnecessary programs that you don't use anymore. So basically, to do that, you can do control, um, click control panel, go to control panel, click program and features, um, and it shows the list of all the programs that is currently installed on your computer. So I just want to double click any of them and um, try to just, uh, yeah, it'll delete it. So. Um, yeah, um, just go through the list, find the program that you don't use, or you don't even know what it does, and uninstall it by double clicking it. Now, you can also do this uh, with the program that, um, I showed you. I mean, yeah, um, uh, with C Cleaner, you go to Tools, and it's, it's another, it's, it's the it's C Cleaner's uninstaller. Then you can go to Startup, and, you, and this is also like System Configuration. But, so this is like a one and all tool. That this can um, substitute uh, um, uh, disk cleanup programs and features. And yeah. Now, un the best way to uninstall something, of course, is actually use Revo Uninstaller. So this is Revo Uninstaller. It also shows all the programs that is currently installed on your computer. But when you uninstall something, it will go through the registry for any missing keys or any leftover information that most um, programs don't delete or uninstall. So look for those, and it'll look for those. And it takes a little bit longer, but it also makes your computer safer and um, faster, basically. So, um, I'll just show you something. Okay. And then there's advanced, moderate, safe, and built-in. This, I don't recommend. This, maybe, if you know, it's a small file, but I usually use moderate. Click next. It'll, um, basically uninstall it. Uh, it's gonna take a while, though. But, yeah. And, click yes, then next. You know, un try to uninstall it basically. And they'll scan your registry for any leftover files, folders, and registry items related with the uninstall application. Please wait. And yeah, I just want to cancel that though. So you get the idea, and then just click. Um, then after it scans the registry, it'll come up with a list of all the registry items that is left over. You just want to check them all, delete it all, and then click finish. Now there's another cool feature about this. Uh, if you have some desktop icons, you can click hunter mode, which is basically, it's really cool. It's like, it's like playing Call of Duty 4 or something. It's, um, you just go to a program and then let go of it. No, basically uninstall it there, and you can go through a whole bunch of programs like that. It's kind of cool, but I don't really use it. But if you're really bored and you just want to um, uninstall something, that's the way to go. You can, of course, there are options and tools, auto run manager, Windows tools, junk files cleaner. So you can do this, and yeah, basically. And this will also make your computer faster. But, um, I recommend just using, uh, C Cleaner for that. Now, another way to, um, make your computer faster is to go to Control Panel. Uh, let's see here. Go to... Dang, totally forgot, didn't I? Oh, yeah, Internet Options. Um, this browser, go to Browsing History, Settings. Um, make your disk space to use to 8. That's how much uh, um, memory is allocated for temporary internet files that um, basically slow down the computer. And this is how much history, how much, um, how many days of pages of history they want to keep on your computer. Um, I use 
I use history, so I'll just leave it to the default of 20. If you, if you don't use it, or you don't even know what it is, make it to one day. Or maybe zero days, if that's possible. I'm not sure it is. You can also delete all your um, stuff. But, that's what CCleaner does. Um, let's see. You can also, while well, I'm on Vista, I think XP is a display one. But for... This so you can go personalize and display settings. And you can make your color um, quality lower to make your computer faster, depending on your monitor, of course. You can make your resolution lower. My monitor is not that good. So, yeah. You can also access this by going on Vista, of course. Going to personalization here, and display settings there. Now, final way, uh, go back to internet options, go to advanced or security or general. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I think you have to go to, uh, let's see, privacy, general. Sorry about that. This. I'm trying to find something here. Wow. Totally blanked out. Oh, yeah. System. Sorry. Very sorry. Go to advanced system settings and continue. Then go to advanced and go to performance settings. And you can choose a best for best, adjust for best performance. Which basically turns your computer to Windows Classic because all the effects are gone. But it makes your computer so much faster. I'm not sure though. Um, so I use, I just put it like that, but you can also customize that if you want the effects. Go apply and okay. I don't want my computer to look like Windows Classic, but you can also turn off some of the effects to make your computer run faster. Oh yeah. You can also go to events here and change the RAM that your computer wants to use, and you can make it higher. Uh, oh, you have to restart your computer. Huh. Yeah, basically, you just want to change it. The custom size, and then, yeah. And you can, uh, Let's put on that, and your computer will have more RAM, and it will make your computer faster. And I hope all these tips and tricks will uh, help, would have helped your computer go faster. So, please subscribe and favorite this video, and rate it 5 stars if you liked it. Um, and see you guys later.